the last few classes we have discussed regarding the html <coughs> now what happened like html is used to create the web page as you all you know to develop a web page we required a uh, html in html we have covered how to write a basic element uh, then we discussed like how you can uh, create a form all this like uh, different different controls in html all these things we have discussed now today's class we are going to discuss on the styling <coughs> let's start with styling for do the what is styling in html if you want to do any kind of sty styling means suppose you want to add some color you want to make some different different kind of text size or you want to add some different different type of coloring all this kind of stuff if you want to do in html we require css <coughs> imagine html is for website designing okay css is the same thing but what you need to do you have to add coloring and styling to a html like in previous class what we discussed like whatever we have developing the application all the application like all the pages is looks like black and white right all this and black and white but suppose you want to add any kind of coloring to a html page then you require the concept of css <clears throat> the css full form is cascading cascading style sheet I'm going to explain each and everything. What is cascading style sheet? Let me explain. First one is what is cascading. Cascading means it's a rule to add a style in your HTML. Okay. Means CSS is defined set of rules. Using that rules, you will going to add the style in your HTML. <clears throat> Before going into in depth of what is how CSS is working and all the style sheet syntax for that knows we have to know that what are the different different type of style sheet what is a selector all these things okay let's go start from a basic style sheet syntax let me create one uh, normal uh, um, html file okay as you know we have to use doc type is html then we have to start HTML tag and HTML tag end. We have a body, we have a head, and um, this head has to end. Head content title tag. And title tag, you can add any kind of title, like suppose uh, we are discuss CSS. Next, we will go for body. most important because you have to know how style sheet work and how the style sheet know that in which element in html you want to apply the style <clears throat> let's go and add the comma like h1 css let me save it as um, style dot html okay let me open this one style dot html first okay this is a basic html page before going into in depth of how css like all the syntax all these things you have to know the basic principle of a css let me draw something as i discuss we have a web page just imagine this is a browser this is a browser like this like this one inside that you have to add any kind of uh, like uh, you can add h1 tag and content then h2 tag h1 tag end perfect let's go and discuss how we can apply the style sheet to a element you have to remember this is element right tag means it's element Let's see how we can add in HTML to apply a style. Okay, to apply any style to an element, there are different different type of format you have to know. 
what is the what are these first one is you have to do you have to do you have to learn about selector first you have to learn selector <clears throat> what is selector means when you are going to write any css code okay any, when you are going to write any css code then this code where it's going to apply means just imagine this is your site right i have this text i have this these are the different different menus if a mouse over here i am going to display all these things right the red background and here this is bold this is normal text this is again the another link all these things whatever means if you are going to write a css in such a way that css how css know that where you are going to apply that style means this is your entire page right suppose you are you, you are writing a css for this one this heading and the, how this heading know that this specific style is this for this not for this one you got my no uh, you got it right means in css first you have to know that what are the different different type of selector selector means when you are going to apply any kind of styling suppose you want to do bold italic counter line etc or you want to add some color and etc then how you know that where you want to apply that style means you want to define a style that style is going to work on this area and not in this area and you want to apply some style this area not going to apply in this element or this element suppose you want to display this uh, um, like uh, underline here but no, no need to display underline here that means what i'm trying to say it here in style sheet you can apply any places right but if you want to apply the style sheet to specific element or spe specific place then we have to know that the what how we can do that to apply a style to a specific element to know that that is the use of selector means selector means means define where to apply the style what is right means you have to mention where you need to apply the style to a specific element then we'll go we'll learn what are the different different selector we have this is the basic of a css if you start a css you have to first know the selectors what is selector let me repeat it again you have to define where you apply the style sheet style okay what are different different type of selector we have the first one please note it down the first one is class selector one is id selector third one is element selector these three are the basic selector for a style sheet means when you are going to write a css when you are going to uh, going to write a class or uh, you are going to write a css style then you have to always remember you can apply whatever style you are going to write that is going to write in this three stages. Either you're going to apply the style in class, you're going to apply class in ID, you're going to apply in element. These are the three basic. But apart from that, there is other one also there. What are these? Because these three are like these three are basic one. For one is element dot class means you have to element plus class. Then fifth one is group element <clears throat> okay i'll explain one by one what i told like initially if you are going to apply the selector always remember selector means where you need to apply the style there is three basic selector one is class id and element and next two is uh, element plus class and group element let me go and explain one by one in depth okay got it right what is selector and all these things okay let me explain if you write this one, you will going to understand okay you know this is the h1 tag what we call this one we call as a element right h1 tag if there is attribute called class attribute what is class attribute as you know like the title attribute, we have discussed title attribute, ID attribute, and name attribute, all these things for attribute, right? The same way, 
in html we have attribute called class attribute okay means class attribute is specially used for apply a style sheet to a element okay before going into this class id and element you have to know that what are different different type of style sheet you can write okay we, we are going to stop it here let's go start one basic style sheet class style sheet uh, at like programming then we will know how we are going to apply the style into class id element etc okay first we know that what is selector then we will know the how to write a style then we have to know that how to apply the style to class id and element okay let's go and start with a uh, basic style sheet uh, programming okay to write a style sheet there is three way you can write a style sheet write a style sheet okay one is one is inline second was internal third one is external okay don't be confused all these things i think from inline you know know that if you are going to write in same line it's called inline internal means if you are going to write the code inside the page we call as internal external means if you are going to use the external css in your class we call as ex external let me write it down and explain one by one okay <clears throat> let me let me go and discuss about what are these inline internal and external right? the heading will be how to write CSS in HTML means we'll discuss all these things but before that you have to know that how to write right once you write then you can you can go to apply the CSS in all the places the inline means if your class if your style is going to write in inside a element we call as a inline example if I'll go and write the style here like style, style syntax here we call it if you go and apply the style syntax in an element element means h1 like any, anything any element you will get any tag or element element means a tag okay if you go and apply the style inside a tag or element we call as a inline clear means write style sheet style css okay css in side to a element or tag then we have to use inline got it inline is used to if you are going to write the style sheet syntax inside the tag like tag start tag and all these things we call as a inline style sheet okay then if we are going to write the style inside the page apart from the inline we call as the internal example before going into internal let me explain one thing in inline how we are going to write a inline syntax if you want to add an inline syntax then you have to use the property called style okay. i would explain you have to remember all these things if uh, previous class we discussed about the id and a name right id title all these things the sir, this, is is style, sir, this is attribute or uh, tag this is attribute no oh already style. remember this is the whatever start from less than and greater than these all are the tag okay and whatever you are going to write inside yes. that this is all are the attribute always remember which is the basic of html okay if anything i am writing inside a tag we call as the attribute or property it's whatever you want to say it's property or attribute both are equal the same if you want to add any inline style inline means i already explained if you're going to write the style style sheet in a same of the tag then you have to use the tag called you have to use the property called style means any places if you are going to add any kind of styling to a element then you have to use the style attribute and what will do let me <clears throat> change these colors to red okay 
Okay, I will go into explain like I will simple write color red. Difference you can see this tends to red. Okay, this this one tends to red. I will explain all these things. What is color? What is red? We will go and in depth we will discuss. Just imagine if you want to add any inline style, then you have to use the style attribute, then style syntax. Okay. Then go and discuss what is the style syntax. Let me explain what style, style syntax. Just a second, guys. Okay. You know that what is the inline? If you are going to write any uh, syntax in same line, we call it inline. To write a inline um, CSS, we have to use the style attribute. The style attribute equal to you know all the attribute is written the same way right id equal to double quote this is attribute one this is the attribute name and this is the attribute value we have to write inside the double quote then let me explain what i written here okay let me explain all these things if i go and write any css okay any css means style equal to color red what is the meaning of all these things let me explain the meaning of each and every one you know style is the syntax used for write the inline style there you can see that color colon red means let me explain color is the attribute name which is the css attribute name and colon the red one is the css attribute value okay. but don't confuse about this attribute this is your html attribute okay h1 attribute style is your class style is used for the styling attribute but inside that you are going to write the css code right for css code is divided in two part one is this one this color is the style sheet name and red is the style sheet value in the same way you have to mention the CSS attribute name is the color and the value you have to mention in two colon operator. Then the value means style sheet name and style sheet value. Always, always remember if you are going to write any style sheet or anything, that time only you have to mention these two way. Any places. First one is your style sheet name and second one your style sheet value. If you want to add multiple if you want to add a multiple style sheet then you have to use the uh, colon operator semicolon operator okay this is the colon to add the value this is the key name this is the value if you want to multiple suppose i want to make it suppose um, uh, font uh, weight old okay if i refresh it it's not saying anything because we are using tag or uh, boulder You can see that first one is color red the color will be red font it will be bold if i change to any it's not getting changed but it's a bold if i remove this one it's not going to display bold you can see that it's the style got changed and if i apply the bold one then you'll see that it's getting displayed a little bit bold. Means what I'm trying to say it here, if you are going to apply multiple style sheets, multiple style, style syntax, just syntax, right? You are going to apply multiple style syntax to a element, then you have to separate all these things by using the semicolon. Okay. These are the use of style sheet. Then what you learn it here? if first one if you want to apply the inline style you have to go for styles style attribute in the style attribute we have to write the syntax called like style sheet name and style sheet value just a style sheet uh, actual uh, syntax then whatever you want to define the style sheet name here you have to define the value we have thousands of style sheet um, like uh, name is there we have to learn each and everything later but just imagine as of now if you want to go into apply the multiple style sheet to a element then you have to write the multiple separated by semicolon okay and the 
the style sheet name and style sheet value is separated by the colon. These are the basic syntax of a style sheet. Then what we learn it here? Inline, like inline means is used to write the CSS in inline. Then we have to use the style tag. We have to use the style tag to add the style in inline. Add the style in inline element or tag. Okay. Got it? Inline you got it? Let's see. Remove all these things. Okay. Remove all these things. Okay. Let me go and create an internal. <clears throat> what is internal? Just imagine all the times you cannot go and add the same style sheet all the places. Okay. Just imagine you have another span also. Another span. Then what happen? You want to make this two, you want to apply the same class two times. Means you have to write the make bold and italic, bold and red for these two. Okay. What you'll do? You'll go and write the same syntax here. Like to go and write the same syntax style equal to color red. And you have to copy this one and paste it here. Okay, what will happen if I refresh? I can able to see HTML and CSS both are applying the same color. Just imagine in your web page, you need to apply the same style and same color in different, different hundred places. Then are you going to write the same code for all the places? No, right? For that reason, we have a concept called inline styling. What is inline styling? Means, sorry, uh, what is the internal styling? Sorry. What is internal styling means? You need to define a style tag where you are going to write a bunch of style sheet. Means no need to write all the things here. You can define an area in which area you are going to write the style sheet. For that, you have to use the call style. Okay. The style is always recommended to add inside the head tag. And that means it, it doesn't really matter that if you're going to add inside the body. It's not going to work. It will work. But as back trust is, you have to do always use the style in top of the head. This type of styling means if you're going to add anything here, like if you add like uh, color equal to red, all these things, right? Whatever, because this is actually not a uh, syntax for that. But whatever you're going to write the code inside that, we're calling as internal styling. Okay, means you have to create a section, means you have you have created a section. In this section, you are going to add any kind of styling that is going to apply in your HTML. Okay. External, we will sir, learn in, yeah, sorry. Sir, yes, why yes. it is not recommended to write a style tag in the inside head, head only. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. yes, that I'm going to go there. Okay, just a second. In, you already inline means same same line and style sheet means yes. style sheet means like you have to add the in, extra like internal external means just imagine external will learn in bootstrap case external means if you want to add any third party css into your into your uh, html then you have to use the external the external will discuss in chapter of uh, bootstrap that time we'll learn how to add a external css into our page but today we are going to focus on in only internal and external okay before going into your question like how i always recommend to write all these things let me go for this top three then we'll discuss like why it's required okay as i told internal e means if you want to internal style sheet means you have to create an area inside area you are going to write a style sheet right but the question is, if you see the inline, you know that this is my element. This is my element or this is my tag. I will add the style sheet here. But in the internal tag or the style tag, how you know that which uh, element or which area you want to apply the style, right? That is the question. Means inline, you know that I'm going to apply the style in this particular uh, HTML span or this CSS span. But if you're going to write an internal style sheet, then you don't know, right? Which area you we are going to apply the style sheet. Then 
then the concept is coming as selectors okay what is selector then you will define in which area i need to apply this tile for that we have these three basic kind of selectors okay let me repeat it again once more in inline you know that which element or which tag you want to apply the style but in the case of internal internal means the style tag starts style tag end then how you know that i going to apply this span or this span or i'm going to apply in any suppose i want to go up in this h1 how you know that like right? <clears throat> how you know that which area you going to apply this this kind of um, uh, like style then there is a concept comma selector selector means the selector basic means how we are going to select a, a, a tag where you want to apply the style the, guys these are the basic of a style sheet we have to know all these things in css we have divided these selectors in basically actually five parts but let me tell you like these three are the basic one these four are just a enhancement of this this three first of all understand the class id and element okay let me go and explain these things if anyone knows the programming concept like uh, if you know java or dot net or any kind of programming you know there is a concept called class right class yes you know, yes you know class and in object oriented programming you know that class we can create an object and that we can create a n number of object of a class if any variable data change in a class wherever the object will be there the object will getting the same data right the basic principle okay i am not going in depth of all these things but basic if you want to define a variable inside a class if i change the class change the variable data all the instance which are creating this class instance the value getting changed for all the classes right that that is the basic principle of a class the same way is working in a style sheet means you want to define a class and use that class in all the places means let me uh, tell you one of the uh, just a second just example you have to understand all this this is a little bit technical you have to understand you have to define a class just imagine this is this is our class okay the class is just imagine the class is um, this is a green class okay and you have different different element here so different different element here and my requirement is i want to make all this element as green just example i want to make all this element as green element means any tag i want to make it green what you will do i you will go and write each and every syntax as color color green color green color green what i will do i will make what i'll do i will make this one as a class and create apply this class to each and every one then what will happen if anything will change here example in future instead of green if i want to change to orange what will happen i no need to go and change all the places automatically whatever changes is reflecting here these changes will apply to all the section that is the use of class means you have to create a class element you have to create a class um, style and apply that class style to all the elements or all the tag then in future if anything going to change in this class then this data automatically going to reflect all the places okay means you no need to design you no need to add the same tag all the places means let let me show you one thing before they going there let me add a class i will like uh class like um, demo i'll explain don't worry about all these things demo color equal to red demo color equal to red okay and apply that uh, okay you got it these are the two i have uh, style let me apply this class here class i'll explain all these things don't worry uh, 
sir for all the uh, tag we have to write this class attribute yes 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 okay let me explain one by one okay you can see that now what i did i have a two element initially we design right these two element just a second two element i have one is html second one is css i have written inline class like color equal to red style color equal to red now what i did i have added another two element called class equal to demo and uh, no, sorry, add javascript and angular as two element okay two span what I did, I have defined one class. Okay, I will explain each and everyone. Don't worry about all these things. Let me show one example, then I'll explain. Okay. Now, what I define, I can define one class called demo. Just example. You can give any name. It's up to you. I define one class name, uh, like define a class called demo. Inside that, I have added a style class called style sheet called color equal to red. Now, apply instead of a style, I have applied class equal to demo. And okay, if I refresh, you can see. I have this two now someone come and your ui lead come okay just change this color to blue or green or anything what will do then you will go it here manually change to green right and you have to go it here manually change to green just imagine if the same styling you are going to apply in your whole page just imagine in enter large application then what will do you will go and find the syntax where you're writing the color equal to red and replace to green, right? In future, the same thing will come to orange or something. You have to again go and change all this thing. To resolve this kind of problem, there is a concept called class. Means if I go and change here to suppose orange, then what will happen? I no need to change all the places. Only if I change these places, if I refresh, it's going to affect the all the classes where it's applied that is the beauty of class means if anyone knows the programming you know concept of class object right means whatever you define the class the same class is applying all the places and what are the property inside this class is going to apply all the element where the class is applied anyone in doubt i'll explain all these things what what is this i just want to know that what is a concept of a class means in inline styling you are writing the syntax in line that is fine but the problem is, if in future, if someone wants to ask to like change something color or font size or anything, font weight or anything, then you have to go and change that styling. Suppose you are using the same structure for 100 uh, tag, then you have to go and change 100 places, right? But that is all the time is not feasible, right? You, you are not going to write the same syntax for all the pages. To achieve that one, we have to do the concept of class. Depend on class and inside the class you have to apply the class apply the inline you are using the style class style attribute if you are going to apply a style a class uh, cs a class styling into your element you have, to, you have to use the class attribute class attribute the class name and you can add any syntax here like suppose i have to add here like um, text decoration line underline okay you can see that sorry means i no need to go and write the i no need to go and find this element and write a syntax here then i will change all these things instead of doing that i just go to a class and change whatever is required for me then Whatever syntax you are going to write, the CSS syntax here is going to apply here. Okay. This is a basic difference between a class and the inline styling. Anyone any doubt on this before I go jump in to explain all these things? Anyone doubt between the sir, class and style? Sir, when when mm -hmm. we should go for both inline or like internal. Okay, that I'll explain. Okay. When you require styling, I'll I'll explain the priority of this, all these things. What are the priority of inline, external, and uh, internal? Okay, that will explain. But 
anyone any doubt on this style and class like how like what is the difference you got it right what is styling and class you can apply this class okay let me show you one thing here you applied class demo as uh, orange color orange but some places some of the places you don't require okay this two is required but i want to make this angular as red this requirement may be come in future right you apply the same class all the places now it becomes to orange but what will happen no no all the things is okay i require underline all these things but i just want to change the color then what will do you have two options either either you can go it here and write another class and copy all the property paste that class and apply the class it change the class it here otherwise what you can do you can apply then inline styling and comes to there only the class means it's coming from this one but if you want to change or you have to if you want to add any extra uh, parameter extra style sheet to this class to this so to this element then you can go for styling means you can also use class as well as style in a specific one of the element suppose and change it here color to red color red refresh you can see that what happened here guys be careful here what you what you get i have applied the class called demo but i applied style equal to color red means what happened whenever you are going to apply any kind of style inline styling this style has more priority than this class one always remember inline styling has more priority than the class one means if you are going to add any kind of styling any kind of inline styling this is the more weight as compared to class one for that reason this color is orange okay but due to you are adding the another style called color equals red what will happen the browser will override this syntax to this syntax okay i think i got your idea right i, I got your question what you are trying to say here in yes, this yes, is the sir. scenario where you are going to apply both the class as well as style that is based on your pure requirement i'm just giving one requirement i just want to make sure that all the things will go to apply the demo but some of the scenario okay i do i just want to change the color for that what will do either you will go add a add a class you can apply the class it is otherwise if you want to you can add the inline styling okay sir if, it, if to... we have any specific requirement then we should go for inline styling Another. right specifically around okay as i explained right all the things will yes, be there sir. i just want to add an extra uh, like i want to add extra um, attribute an uh, extra styling or i want to remove the extra styling then we'll go for styling but i always recommend recommended don't use inline styling yes sir if if you don't have that much necessary then don't use the inline styling means never go for this kind of styling it's not actually recommended because what will happen just imagine i am i am just showing you an example right but in real time if i open this one if i right click and open this one you can see how much html syntax is written here okay if you go and write every place you can see that they are using class class concept right every place you can see they are using class concept why not inline css because maintenance of inline css always be a headache because you all know that right your html will be more means all the places you can try the style 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 and second one will be in future any changes will going to happen you have to go and manual changes all the places instead of doing all these things what you can do you can always go for style one the class one okay class one means there is a lot of thing class and this um, id and element will be there but i am just talking about class one okay now you got it right what is when you have to use the class when you have you used the styling what i am always recommended yes. don't use style in line it's yes. not recommended but this is the syntax maybe in the future some of the class, some of the scenario you need to apply the style that's okay but you have to know how to add the style in inline agile class okay let me explain this syntax okay you have to know that all this thing let me explain all these things i know guys uh, my class is a little bit like slow but my intention you have to you have to learn you have to understand each and every concept deeply okay What I told initially, I initially call like this is a selector. 
selector means you have to select something right to define to define any kind of class in a style set we have to use the dot dot means it's a class always remember in a class selector dot dot is used to define style in the any name before any name if you put the dot symbol then css treat as this as a class this as a class style but what is the use the what is the rule for a right a style class means style you can add anything like you have to add dot then then you have to write the class name class name okay it's it's a basic syntax dot dot class name dot dot class name the class name can give anything but there is a rules means no space and no special character except hyphen and underscore what it guys means you yes. can define a class you can define a class using dot okay and the defined class the next one is the class name you can give the your name i will give name but i cannot give name and title you cannot give it, you, you cannot define this way either you have to define name so like continuously otherwise you can give hyper otherwise you can give underscore okay these two special character you can use in define a style but i always remember always recommended always go for suppose um, you all the time you have not single class name right you may be large class name for that if you want to differentiate all these things just go for a hyphen it will always be recommended for standard it's always recommended if you have a like large kind of name like suppose um, you have to define first name that class you have to go for hyphen or underscore it's up to you whatever going to use whatever you want to go to use it's up to you but just remember no space in between the class name okay it's always be recommended so what you learn it here first one is dot is used to define a class name you can give any class name up to you but always remember the class name does not have any kind of uh, special character except hyphen and underscore okay means you define a class using dot to add a style you have to use the curly bracket this is this are the structure of a style like you have to define a first name as a class name inside that you have to use the curly bracket start and curly bracket end if you don't know the programming you know the class when you write a class program like uh, class uh, so for class equal to student then you have to write a curly bracket start and curly bracket end right the same way just imagine instead of a class they are using the dot symbol simple one if anyone know programming is a simple one instead of class they are using the dot symbol in css dot means a class the class student whatever you are going to add the property here like color red or background color and i will going to explain all this thing color red and text expression underline font weight bold all these things all the things are combined into the student and if you are going to apply this class to a html element or any of the tag then you have to use the property called class property and you can use equal to class name okay but the things will be now there is a question can i apply a multiple class to an element yes just an example i remove this one what i'll do i'll create another class called red color just imagine red color what i'll do add, add a class called color equal to red got it just imagine uh, the syntax if you want to write i always remember i always told like you have to add the semicolon to end one of the syntax one of the line then another semicolon to end of, end of the line i have created one class called red color and inside that added the style sheet called color color equal to red then initially i have added inline style instead of adding inline style what i'll do i will i will demo demo is the this class name okay if you want, want to apply another class then just add a space then add another class name another class name is red color i will apply red color got it it's working see it means 
if you want to apply multiple style sheet to a class multiple class to a element then you have to use a class attribute inside that if you want to multiple class then the class name then space another class name space another class name space another class name. you can add thousand n number of class to a element it's up to you how we are going to add the class okay but the basic syntax of a class is if you want to differentiate between two class you have to use the space symbol okay space is used to uh, differentiate between this this is one class this is one of the class got it anyone any doubt on this class we actually we are not discussing about the syntax we are just discussing about the selector and all these things anyone any question sir if you uh, apply multiple classes as one element then which one it will effect okay let me show you let me do one thing this one is the orange right then this is the angular one let me reverse this one what i'll do i'll first apply color and demo just reverse a bit Did you see any changes? The same one. I have just moved this one to top and this one to down. What happened? Did you see? So the last one apply will be affected. Yes. Means the whatever is written in last, always you remember that whatever defined in the last is going to be affected, right? The same way, if you want to know the same tag is used two places, the last one is always going to be replaced the first one. Okay. that is the use of a style sheet okay. this is up to you if you're going to write all this thing then you know not how it's working okay then what we learn today we'll learn today about the inline styling and internal styling internal styling means you have to write your uh, like style class inside a HTML page but for internal styling we have to know the basic of a selector in selector we have different different kind of selector one is class selector id selector element selector class selector is it will be work same as the normal object class you have to define a class then apply that class all the places to define a class you have to use the dot operator if you use dot then it will be start as a class then you give the class name the class name you can give any name except the special character hyphen and underscore in uh, class will start from callback and start callback and end inside that you have to add any kind of like your html syntax sorry, any kind of css syntax that will going to explain what are different different syntax to apply the class you have to use the class attribute to apply the inline you have to use the style attribute okay we have again five or ten minutes let me explain the id attribute id selector okay now you can see that what happened here in class attribute we can use the same class all the places but we have a selector called id you, you know that id means it's always be unique right it's always be unique just example let me add one input box input i equal to text and we know that with id attribute in text box suppose like suppose first name My, what is my requirement? My requirement is, sorry. My requirement is the, the border of this uh, text box will be any color. What I'll do? Either I'll go it here and apply a class and write text box. Just imagine, I'll write a text box. Then what I'll do? I'll go it here, write a class called text box. And border one px solid red. You can see this playing red color text box. Okay, right. But 
Now the question is no, I want to only apply for this ID. There is two way. Either you can create a class, that class you can use only this place, otherwise you can write it inline class inline styling. Just imagine the use of class is not for one element. Always remember, don't define a uh, define a class which is going to use for only one element. One element means Suppose you want to define a class that is going to, going to only apply this tag, not other tag. Then don't define this class one because class is actually used for apply in multiple places. When you want to apply a class in multiple element or multiple tag, that time only you have to define a class selector. But whereas if you want to define a only class for a only a single element, then go for ID selector. Let me explain the ID selector. What is ID, ID selector? Means you know that this ID is unique for the entire page. As I explained in the HTML, always know that ID always be unique for this entire HTML. ID means a unique identifier, right? For that, what we will do if you are going to apply any style sheet for this ID, then you have to use the concept of has remember for class it's a dot for id it's a has has the id name you have to give the id name first name then what i'll do then you have to write the code called color equal to suppose mm, Sorry, border color. One px solid. Okay, don't forget forget about all these things. I'm going to explain all these things. You guys got it. The difference between ID and this class. I mean, class is going to apply for all the all the places. Means you can use the class multiple places. But always remember, ID is unique to the control means for all, for this entire HTML page ID is unique. For that, if you want to define any kind of ID selector means ID specific style sheet, then you have to use hash symbol for class dot or ID hash. And next, the ID should be match whatever ID you are given here. The same thing you have to write it here. If I change to ID first name two, then you can see that nothing is going to happen, right? because you did not find the id in your places uh, uh, like first name two for that reason what you will do you have to always remember this id whatever id you are providing here the same id name you have to specify here and then you have to write your syntax okay this is for id selector class for multiple id for specific and more specific go to style Style is always there for writing the inline one. Got it, right? This class for multiple ID for specific styling for overhead everything and write your own. This is the use of ID selector. Okay. What is ID selector? To apply ID selector, you have to use the has. Okay. Has is used, has is used to define ID selector. Define selector then the id should match with element id and id should be unique in page these are the basic concept but the defined the defined one like you have to dip, you, you cannot give the space you have to give the hyphen or you have to give the underscore that is the basic concept of define a, any kind of style sheet to name but the only difference is the dot used for class the class is going to use multiple places id used for uh, the specific element and that can be used by using the has these are two selector for html tomorrow we are go and learn about element what is the element selector what is the element dot class selector what is group element selector 
after you learn the selector then you go actually learn about the different different syntax okay anyone any doubt i just want to know why it is recommended to write the style inside head tag only sorry sorry why it is recommended and, to write always style uh, tag inside head tag only you want to say that uh, why this style is not recommended or recommended it is recommended why it's not recommended this inline styling is not recommended to write but there is some cases where you cannot use just an example no 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 sir My... actually i'm talking about hmm. head tag only why you written always style tag in and head tag only okay why First, not okay. other place ah that i told how oh, recommendation why is recommended to add in style in head okay as i explained earlier whatever the information about a page is always to add a style because with when you are going to body you want to make it clean body only content or data not the styling not the scripting always remember otherwise what you can do you can add the style sheet in top otherwise you can put the style in before the body close you can add any places only for the data mess up like just imagine if i copy it here and place it all the places right here and here how you know that we are going to change it right for that reason if you want to make the thing the other things like uh, easier then we are moving everything to head tag means what will happen if you want to change any style sheet you don't need to find an entire body you have to go ahead and only change it here right that is the only requirement that is, otherwise nothing will be there there is no hard and fast rule like okay, you have to define in head tag all the style in head tag to only use that if you define your style tag inside the body then you have to find right because this is just a small html but when you are developing an application when you are developing a like website the n number of syntax you have to write right suppose you want to change on a class you have to scroll down you have to go and find where the class is written all these things right instead of doing that simple go here and you know that all my style sheet is written in head plus head i am going to yeah, change it, it it will get jumbled up yes because just imagine you are just small example right if you go to actual yes, application sir. and html and number control written if you go and write style sheet in between the body or any places there will be problem problem is you have to find and replace all these things that is the only yes, recommended sir, because we have because to in style internal, mm -hmm. yes sir because in internal css uh, styling uh, everything comes like uh, body curly brackets html curly brackets and whatever the class and id we have it all yes, comes yes. so we can't write it in inside body it's better to no, write no, it in no 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 i can write i can sp uh, paste this one here and also but i can it will write... be very messy yes that i'm saying because yeah. we, as of now we are learning only selector in selector after that how we are going to apply the head how we are going to apply the body and html all this different different are there right it's always yes, recommended to write in head like in head part but yes there is no rule like you have to you cannot add in body in some of the classes if you require you can add it right but yes. in the body part if you are going to apply the css for this html and all this part it's not going to work because i'm not going to there i'll go all these things later but always yes. recommended to add in head part okay as of now so it is it is good to use external css or internal right no no it, it's always uh, uh, depends upon the actually application uses why i am saying Parliament. okay i am going to okay. use the i am going to use the bootstrap then i have two options either i have to use the external url otherwise i will copy the uh, style sheet and create a file and link it here otherwise i'll paste okay. the entire css here okay it's up to us but so define... later on sir okay mm -hmm. what later i'm trying on, to say sir, here that, uh, let me complete first what i'm yes, trying sir. to say it here suppose if this is just an example right just imagine you have yes, a, a thousand line of code and each and every line you want to define different class different different class yeah. what will happen this will be automatically large file right yes instead sir. of doing all yes, this yes. thing move the style sheet to a different class and use that class here means enter will be one single line only that i'm going to uh, explain later that is the okay. use of external css mm -hmm. 
And sir, we are going to use VS Code or we'll we'll do it in Notepad only. No, 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 no. I I'll, I'll go for VS Code only. I'm going to extend the okay. selector after the selector completed. We'll move okay. it to VS Code. This is just because okay. you have to know that what is ID, what is selector, because all these things will be there. When actually go okay. for actually writing the CSS tag. Because I, I am not going to under, uh, like remember all the tag, right? Because all the tags, right. will, no one going to remember. Then yes, you have to know that what are the uh, tag is there. We have to know all these things. But as of now, for this five point, we have to go for B, uh, like Notepad. Later, we will open the um, VS Code. We are going to write all these things there. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Sir. I am going all okay. things step by step. You have to learn each and everything. Then after completion all these things, we will go for the CSS. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, Rajesh. Anyone, any question? Sir, I got the idea. Actually, if we if we have any enhancement in the future, then we should write mm -hmm. always a style inside the head only. We are not yeah, going to. Yeah, recommend. Yes. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that is recommended. But always remember, this is just an example giving. But when I going to explain the external CSS, that time I'll I will tell that always use the external CSS, because for the different different scenario, that is the use of style sheet will be different. Okay, that time I'm going to explain why it's required, why it's not required. Okay, but as of current scenario, it's always recommended to write the style sheet in head. But later I, will, I, I may be told like, okay, no need to write it in head, just remove it into one file. Okay, based on the scenario, I'm going to explain each and everything. But as of now, you have to know that head tags should be content the styling. I don't use inline styling at all. If there is no use, if there is actually use, then use it. Okay. Yes. Sir. Okay, guys. So, okay. So, like image tag uh, mm -hmm. for SRC, you have uh, told about internal and external path, right? Yes. Uh, same way for the external, if the at a time uh, external uh, resource is not available, then we should go for internal uh, CSS only, na? Yes, yes. Uh, but whatever you have to define in HREF, the linking one, that should be load. If not load, then that style is not going to work. But there is no like callback. Suppose you have to say that if external is not there, I have to use the internal. Then you have to design your application that way. It's not it's not going to work automatically. You have to design that way. If external not yeah. work, then you have to use the internal. Just example. Suppose you are using Google font, okay? And the, yes. suppose the Google font is not loaded. If Google font is not loaded, it's going to display your default font. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. That is the that is that is the use case. That, that we are going to use how we are using the default font and all this thing. That we're going to discuss all this thing later. But today we have just learned what is a selector, how to write a basic style sheet class and style sheet uh, like ID selector. Tomorrow going to complete the rest selector, then we will start from the actual CSS uh, syntax. Okay. Still okay. you have not shared the, this uh, document still. Uh, which one Prasant? So all the documents you have not shared. Hey, sorry, sorry. Actually, I am not getting time to prepare all these things. Don't worry. Like before, you are like I am preparing all these things because I am saying something and writing some of the different things, right? I am preparing all these things. Once it will complete, I will share it to all. Okay. Don't don't worry. I I will share all with all of you. Okay. 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 Uh, good evening, sir. Thank you. Sir, uh, yes, yes. recording is available, sir, for every class. Yes, yes, I, I have a recording. I don't know how, how to share, where to share. I will talk with Mohesh sir and I will share with you all. Okay, don't worry. Yeah, okay. Because I already have all the recordings, but uh, I don't know where to um, put all these things. I will talk to Mohesh sir, then I will share with you all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank okay. you. Sir. Thank you all. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Bye. See, yeah. Yeah, see you. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, see you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Pavan. Yeah, Prasant, anyone? Sir, actually, I'm asking, uh, mm -hmm. are we going to do any major project in CSS? Uh, no, sir, in this whole, whole, whole this. Uh, yeah, yeah, like we are planning to create one clone of any of this site, like it may be Amazon or it may be Flipkart. We can choose only one of the site and we we'll create a, a CSS for that one. We can only go for one page. One page is enough for we will cover all the things. Uh, but after completion of Bootstrap, we can start that one. Sir, we will yeah. also deploy that that in server also. Oh, that will I will show you how to deploy like I will create one like you, you anyone knows idea about the GitHub? Yes, sir. yes, sir. I have. 
uh, there is GitHub. There is a concept called GitHub page, right? We'll we'll go yes, and sir. we'll host the GitHub page only. So you can create a repo that uh, we are going to deploy this HTML, whatever develop. We can deploy this um, HTML into the GitHub page, or we can go for any free web hosting where we can deploy it. There n number of web hosting is there. We can do that. Don't worry. First, you have to learn all this syntax, and when you complete the bootstrap, then we'll go start for a project, and we'll complete project this project quickly, and we'll do a deployment. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye.